<laughs> Are you serious? I just got off the air on Liberty Broadcasting Network, our radio, internet radio program. I'm on every day from 12 noon to 3 p.m. on Eastern Standard Time on www.LibertyBroadcastingNetwork.com. Three people got saved today. Actually, four. Can I share that with you? Two people called in and got saved on the air. Pedro, a truck driver out of Connecticut, who was listening to me as he's driving down the road, and then went home, I guess, over the weekend, and found my YouTube videos and watched a bunch of those, and the Lord spoke to his heart, and today he called in and gave his heart to the Lord. That was awesome. And then uh, Mike, Mike called in. Another truck driver, this time this, this man out of Mississippi, he gave his heart to the Lord. We prayed with him also right on the air. Both these men get saved on the air. Meanwhile, Philip of Alabama is at work, and a guy that he works with who was a, basically was saying he was an atheist started getting concerned, and Philip told him to he needed, he needed to maybe check out. He gave him an outline of the Hosea prophecy, and the guy was reading it, and during the lunch break, got on his phone, his iPhone, and started watching my YouTube videos, and the Lord spoke to his heart, and he fell to his knees, and right there on the factory floor in Alabama, the man got saved. Are you serious, YouTube? Are you serious? And while that's going on, after I got off the air a little bit, of, just a few minutes ago, Pedro, the truck driver who originally called in and I led him to the Lord, the sinner's prayer, he got saved on the air from Connecticut. His wife called back into the network. I'm off the air, so I'm gone. So the next host ends up getting on the phone with, with, with her. And so he prays with her and she gets saved. Are you serious? Folks, do you understand that the end time harvest is coming to the Lord? We're having an internet revival here. Are you right? Are you serious? What? Huh? What? <laughs> oh, the devil. I double dog dare the devil to deal with the word of God because he can't handle it. He can't handle the truth because Jesus died on the cross and he rose from the dead and he conquered all the demons of hell. He broke the chains of darkness and set the captive free. Now, Wow. All right. Uh, what, what do you want me to do? Go to my website. Maybe you're not saved and you'd like to see some, read some Bible scriptures. Yeah, I've got salvation scriptures right there. Just go to my website, www.paulbegleyprophecy.com. That's paulbegleyprophecy.com. Go there right now. Be blessed. Uh, and you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this. I, don't, I rarely do this. I rarely do this. But if you'd like to help us and bless us with a donation, do that. Okay, just do that. Go to the website, www.paulbegleyprophecy.com. Now, I want to share this with you right now because we've got to touch, we've got to win souls to the Lord. We've got to get it done. We're in the end time. Look, look what's going on in the Middle East. Look at the United Nations in this next week or so. And what about the fact that there's a, a, an old satellite, NASA's telling us today, there's an old satellite the size of a city bus what? Are you serious? The size of a city bus? It weighs six tons. Folks, this thing is falling out of space. It's going to hit Earth this week. And when we ask NASA where, NASA says, I don't know, but don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. The thing's the size of a city bus. A city bus falling out of the sky. You ever heard to say, don't get hit by a bus? Oh! <laughs> I'm not... <laughs> I'm not shocked, I'm not stunned, I'm not worried about it because I'm covered by the blood. But, are you? Are you? Are you? Have you been saved? I'm not saying that this, if you don't get saved, the bus is going to hit you. I'm just saying, there's a bus going to fall out of the sky. And the question, it's, it's, a, it's the size of a bus, it's a satellite, but still. Anyway, that's not the only thing going on. Oh, there was a 6.9 earthquake today in India, and I've already done a video on that, but it's bad. And the number of deaths is rising. So let's pray for the people of India. It happened in the Himalayas, right up here. And uh, seven are dead in Tibet, seven are dead in Nepal. And we, we really don't know. The, the monsoon rains is making it worse. Just pray for the folks there. Really pray, pray hard. And there was an earthquake today also, 5.8 in Guatemala. 
Guatemala? That's where Gospel Joe is. Gospel Joe, are you okay? Would you send me an email? Tell me you're okay, Gospel Joe. That's the guy that sent me the, the, the Guatemalan coffee. Gospel Joe. No! You're all right. You're okay, Gospel Joe. Let me know. Let me know, Gospel Joe. Hmm. Hmm. And the coffee's great also, Gospel Joe. Now, let's, let's talk for a minute. UFO sightings have spiked this summer. What for? I mean, why would... What's that about? Let's just read the article. Uh, Karen of Maryland sent this to me. And, you know, it kind of goes along with the bus story. I mean, if you've got a, a, if you got a satellite the size of a city bus falling out of the sky and NASA can't tell us where it's going to hit, then I guess, and the comet Ellen's on the way, and NASA can't tell us what that's going to do, I guess we should find out about people saying they're seeing UFOs. Can I be honest with you? There's no such thing as a UFO. There's no such thing as an alien. There's demons. And these people who feel they're being uh, alien abductions, I'm going to tell you what they're really having. Demon possessions. Demon hauntings. Demon oppressions. They're being, literally, some of them are being violated by demon spirits. I know what I'm talking about. I've had to pray with folks that's had demon activity. I've had to go into homes and pray for homes with demon activity. And it, it's ugly. But uh, you can be set free, the power of prayer. The devil can't deal with it, man. You bring the blood of Jesus and you start praying in the Holy Ghost, and I guarantee you, the devil's going to run. Okay, according to an organization that tracks UFOs, reports the summer, this summer, especially busy period for UFO sightings. The Mutual UFO Network noted that sightings have increased over the past six months, and some states more than double their normal numbers. Is that right? Okay, um, as we, are we on the cusp of an alien invasion? No. Or maybe people just have more time on their hands to spot and report things. No. It's pretty exciting though, said Clifford Clift. The internet, is that the guy's name, Clifford Clift? If I had a name Clifford Clift, I would change something in that. I don't know what, either the Clifford or the Clift. <laughs> anyway, international director of, uh, the Mutual UFO Network, when you average 500 sightings a month nationwide and it goes to 1,013 a month, this is a very interesting spike. Okay? Cliff told Life's Little Mysteries that he's not sure what to make of all this data. It could be the start of something big. It could be that Hollywood and, and uh, the national media... And everybody is involved in telling people the aliens are coming, the aliens are coming, the aliens are coming. It could be Project Blue Beam. It could be Harp. It could be, you know, something involved there. But I can tell you right now, it's not aliens. I'm going to tell you right now, it's not aliens. But it's demon activity. It is demons, folks. Little green men aren't going to get you. Little green imps. Little principalities and powers. E evil demon spirits will. Some of you play with the occult. I'm going to tell you what your problem is. You're getting involved with Ouija board, Ouija boards, tarot cards, palm readers, soothsayers, psychic hotlines. You're, you're playing around with seances and mediums and channeling, and you're involved with all this meditation. You need to get out of the temptation. You need some revelation that this stuff is going to bring you damnation. You hear me? Are you listening? Get away from that stuff. Jesus' name, I rebuke that spirit upon you right now. Somebody's watching me right now who has absolutely been, you've been tormented by demon spirits. Torment, they torment people. I rebuke it. Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Send me a personal message right here on YouTube. I want to be saved. I want to be saved. I want to be saved. Matter of fact, send it to me if you want to be saved. Say, I want to be saved. We've had five saved over the weekend, three on the radio today, one somewhere in Alabama, and one calling in to the next host on the air. And I don't know how many more is going to be touched today. But I'm going to say this right now. You, could, you can either send, I want to be saved, I want to be saved. But if you're being haunted by demons, I want you to put on there, help me, demons. Help me, demons. I'll help you. Jesus name we'll pray okay I'm Paul Begley don't get hit by the city bus stay 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 safe you're covered by the blood get underneath the shadow of the Almighty Psalms 91 you're all right in Jesus name